Johnny Chen is the champion of the 18th Annual Hell World Series. He wins the Champion Series. The Oakland Champions, the World Champion of Poker. For 34 years, only one event has defined poker greatness. Yeah! And even now, with poker's popularity reaching unprecedented heights, it remains the one event that guarantees poker immortality. The winner of this tournament is the world champion. We did it, man! This event is the one event you want to win. You're called a world champion the rest of your life. This is the tournament. This is it. This year, the tournament's field has exploded with record-setting numbers. Nearly 2,600 players. Please, I'm shaking. Five million dollars to the winner. The largest field in poker history. Oh, I don't have to do no more now. The oh. largest prize in sports or television history. Yes. I go. This oh. is the main event of the World Series of Poker. This is the greatest tournament in the world. Welcome to the main event of the World Series of Poker presented by Miller High Life. The Horseshoe Casino is at maximum capacity with a field that is almost 2,600 strong, three times the amount of players that competed in last year's main event for all looking to take home that $5 million first prize. It's the only place to be. The turnout has been so tremendous that organizers have actually had to split the opening field into two heats playing over two days. Hello everybody, I'm Lon McCarron alongside Norman Chad. You know, it's amazing to reflect that when this World Series tournament format started 33 years ago, there were just six entries. Now as we stand here today, almost 2,600 people are poised to take their shot at riches and glory. But the name among all names, no doubt, is our defending champion, Chris Moneymaker. Indeed, Lon, Chris Moneymaker is the reason nearly 2,600 people are here. And now, to prove he wasn't a fluke last year, all he has to do is beat nearly 2,600 people to repeat as champion. Good luck. And here comes the man himself, Chris Moneymaker, making his way to his first table. Day one, seat one. You're sitting right next to Chris Moneymaker. Okay, Congratulations. He's in seat number two. Okay. And like a heavyweight champion, Moneymaker makes his way in with his entourage, his entourage being his father. Trying to become the first poker player since Johnny Chan in 87 and 88 to repeat as World Series champion. Dude, good luck, Chris. Last year, we called him dead money. Now he's got two and a half million dollars worth of money. Congratulations, winning last year. Thank you, I appreciate it. Very good. Five million dollars to first place. That's what you guys are all playing for. At this time, all dealers, please shuffle up and deal. Yeah. Is there another Chris Moneymaker out there in the field, or will Chris be able to successfully defend his World Series of Poker title? Because of the size of the field, we have 10 players at each table instead of the normal nine, including our featured table. And one of the biggest names of the game is here. Men win the master with six World Series bracelets. And he is playing alongside John World Hennigan, he has two bracelets. He just won his second one this year. And as is the nature of the game, you have newbies playing with the stars. Dean Hines in his first World Series of Poker. And a first look at the Miller High Life Pocket Cam, a suited King Deuce. And you see the blinds are at 25 and 50 in Hold'em. Two players are already into the pot at the beginning of every hand. And the blinds shift to the left with each new deal. Matt Hagen, another newbie with a suited Queen Six. You're going to raise. Showing some moxie to the seasoned veteran, Men the Master. I want to race, but you told me not to race, okay? I'll be done. Men was in the big blind. He could have raised, but with those cards, he'll just check. And here's our flop, and Hagen, welcome okay. to the World Series, two queens. Hines with an inside straight draw. Everybody checks. And another queen for Hagen. <laughs> okay. Get all the free cards for you there. Hagen checking that almost like a pro. Now the river card five of clubs, Hagen's best with three queens. Take a good look again. I, I need to. You don't remember? You only two cards. Change, don't they? It won't yeah. change. That 200. Oh. You hit the five in the river, huh? That's why I checked again, right? I know that. I, I had a five too. And man, the master kicks it in. Hagen Good takes job. the hand. Oh, you had a queen. You know how I do it. That was my <laughs> amateur move, man. I move furniture, man, for a living. You know that? 
Now I'm sitting next to you. It's the chance of a lifetime. You know what I'm saying? You only uh, 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 buying 10000 to sit next to Amanda Master. If I would have known it was you here, I would have paid 200000 <laughs> And of course, here at event number 33, the main event, it is a no limit event. And there's a gallery already watching the defending champion, Chris Moneymaker. And what a tough spot for him. Expectations are unrealistic. He's got people over his shoulder watching his every move, incredible amount of media requests. He hasn't done that well at the previous tournaments here. It's just, it's just tough to do well in this environment. Well, this is the most difficult poker event to win in the world, made even more so with triple the field. But right now, Chris Moneymaker wins a nice pot on the outer tables, collects his chips, trying to collect some momentum and get back to the final table. Here at our feature table, Dean Hines, 39 years old from Georgia, owner of a garage door business, looking at an unsuited queen jack. Go. Top player in his first World Series, as is Gregory Sawka with an ace seven, couple of spades. Tamen the master. Who is in the big blind right now with king eight off suit. And he'll elect to uh, see the flop for free. He just checks. And here is the flop. Man win gets trip kings. Wow. And he'll go sly and try to slow play them and see if the other players can build a pot. Everyone checks. And you see the check mark now next to Min, the master's name. He's got a lock on the hand as long as he doesn't fold. Everybody checks to the river. It's a six. Min improves to a full house, and he'll bet 200. Over to Dean Hines. Who will call with the Queens. And now Sokka, whose favorite player is Phil Helmuth. I think Helmuth would have thrown this away a little quicker than Sokka's going to throw it away. Now call. Oh, he calls. <laughs> And Men turns over his cards. Everybody sees his king's full, and Men wins the hand. Very nice. The master teaching everybody a lesson here. Nice flop. Give him my wife. Get up. Well, they say all you need to win this tournament is a chip and a chair. Will you bring me a uh, soda now? <laughs> <laughs> this year, with the record number of players, it looks like the chip part's easy. The chair part is what they're having trouble with, Nor. Lon, you could give him your chair, huh? No. And it is so crowded, the fans lining up outside to watch nine-time bracelet winner Johnny Chan. The last to repeat at the World Series in 1988. And since then, let me tell you how tough this is. We have had 15 different winners in 15 years. Doyle Brunson also with nine bracelets. He never looks happy, does he? No, but hey, when Doyle started playing this game, the earth was still flat. He has seen it all. <laughs> He's pushing the people around at his table right now. And he wins that hand. Phil Helmuth is supposed to be here. Well, his tradition is to always show up late to this event. I've suggested he show up even later than he does. We'll see him sooner or later. Back at our feature table, action already underway. Patrick Naughton has a couple of jacks. He has gone all in, waiting for Jack Arnold with two queens to act. I call him. And with that call, Arnold actually is the one all in. And an overwhelming favorite, only an ace or a jack would knock him out. That's a tough call. It's not that Good tough, call. but it's easy to Come call. Come on, Ace. <laughs> big Ace, Big Ace. Here comes the turn. It is an Ace. Ooh. Ooh. Ace Jack's beautiful, man. Ace Jack's beautiful. Ooh. Patrick Naughton wins oh the hand. Oh, my God. And Jack Arnold, 35 years old from Tulsa, Oklahoma, is eliminated and numb. Doesn't he have to leave? Yeah, he's got to leave. He will leave. He doesn't want to. I'll take it. I'm, I'm not proud. <laughs> yeah, I'm not proud. I'll take them anywhere they come. Matt Hagen, another first timer, knows full well. You don't worry about how the chips come your way. With that class, uh, you look like a money maker. Good money maker. Who's that? Uh, the guy who won. Oh, <laughs> Where's he been since? Is he here? <laughs> of course, Chris Moneymaker is here. He's on the outer tables, as we have seen. and. Quite a fan club gathered around him, pretty much the way his life has been since he won the main event last year. Chris Moneymaker eliminates Sam Farhawk. I had a better chance to win the lottery to win this event. This is beyond fairy tale. It's inconceivable. One guy told me, it's like, your life will never be the same. I said, man, what? I won a poker tournament. No, I won the poker tournament. Could you spare me five minutes and ask you one or two questions? I'd be interested in hearing your opinions on some things about high stakes poker. Do you have a strategy when you go in? The man himself, Chris Moneymaker.
people started recognizing me. I could not go anywhere without you know, giving signatures and you know, eight-year-olds are shaking to meet me. There are like 15 phone calls coming in, like all these weird numbers I've never seen before. Obviously, repeating is just phenomenally hard. But my game got a lot better and I'm confident that I'll do well.